At 11, the search is on for a dangerous hit and run driver out of Mount Holly, who police say hit a young man walking. That crash sent the victim to the hospital where he's now fighting for his life. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper shares the serious injuries he faces and the clues police hope will help lead to the suspect. Mount Holly police are sharing these photos of a silver Jeep Liberty, similar to the one they believe is responsible for this hit and run crash. Meanwhile, family members of the victim are praying for a miracle. A 23 year old Devin Valentine is best described by his friends and family as a goofball. He was always joking. He was always laughing and never failed. But those good times came to a screeching halt Friday night when Mount Holly police say Valentine was hit by a car as he walked along Highway 27. They left him laying there and um, a motorcyclist so far of what we've learned seen him and stayed with him until and called 911 until they got there. Investigators say the driver drug Valentine at least 100 yards before taking off in the direction of Stanley. The vehicle involved a silver Jeep Liberty expected to have damage to the front driver's side. But the victim's injuries are much more serious, including a tear to the heart, a fractured pelvis and internal bleeding in the brain. He's now on life support. Um, that we're kind of just it's a waiting game at this point to see if he can come out of it. Doctors also plan to test to see if there's any brain damage as well. Meanwhile, family and friends are hoping for the very best. He's been through a lot in his life, so I do view him as a fighter. They're also hoping for some justice too. If you could say anything to them or just, you know, a plea for them, what would that be? Come forward. That's all we want is for them to come forward. Like, this is such a harsh thing that they've done. If they would have just stayed at the scene with Devin, it could have changed everything. Tomorrow, starting at 5 p.m., family and friends will host a prayer vigil at the Mount Holly basketball courts to honor Devin. There's also a GoFundMe account set up to help cover some of those medical costs. If you would like to donate, you can find a link included to this story on our website at WCNC.com. Brianna Harper reporting, WCNC, Charlotte.